Mitchell pretty closely here over the next few months. He's got about three or four months left on his contract right now, and uh, what he decides to do will basically determine his fate um, as far as storylines are concerned over the uh, over the next few months. But this may be a way to write Jeff out of TV for a few weeks. Um, so I. Uh, I don't know, and if not, if not, if it's not a way, if Jeff's going to stick around, he does have a couple months left on his contract, so I don't see why, you know, they wouldn't want him to be there, um, to to be there for the rest of his contract for the last three or four months. But um, if not, if he's if he's going to stick around, I'll go Jeff Hardy here. But if not, if it's a way to write him off TV to give him some time off, I'll go Matt Hardy. So I can't I can't really give you an opinion on this one. I, I'll stick with Jeff. I mean, I know, you know, we want to take calls, but I definitely, regardless of what they end up doing, I, I think they give it to Jeff. Chris Jericho versus Ricky, Ste- Ricky Steamboat. I think you have to put Jericho over here. Yeah, I'd, I'd be really complete shocked if they if they let uh, Steamboat win, but I, I agree. My, my pick is on Jericho. And the last thing, segment, that's going to happen is Santina on the Collie Kiss Cam. Any Who cares? Comments? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'd rather take live calls and talk to people than talk about the kiss cams. Yeah, right. Go pay $35 and watch two grown men kiss on a live pro wrestling pay-per-view. Hey, let's uh, let's take some uh, live phone calls right now here on WZR Radio for about the last 20 minutes. Anything you guys want to ask, Raw, UFC, TNA Lockdown, anything at all, any questions, anything like that. Call us up live right now. The phone number to call is 724-444-7444. Call ID number is 30273, followed by the pound key. Wrestling Head from the chat room, you're live on WZR Radio. What's on your mind? Hey, um, I want to know what happened to uh, Shawn Michaels and when is he going to return? Thank you. Good question, man. Thanks, uh, thanks for the call. Shawn Michaels is on a break after WrestleMania, taking some time off. Sean's out right now. When Sean comes back, Taker's going to be the one that takes some time off. Taker's got the feud. We uh, exclusively reported it on WZROnline.com. Um, he's going to be in a feud with Chris Jericho over the summer, um, possibly culminating at SummerSlam. Chris Jericho versus The Undertaker in a match at SummerSlam. Um, but that is a that is a, a confirmed feud over on SmackDown that is planned. Um, but as far as Sean should be back in a uh, in a few weeks, just taking some time off. Bad knees, real bad knees. Um, so he's out right now. Caller from Florida, you're live on WZR Radio. Tony Hunt. Yeah, hi. I was I was just wondering, um, how much of a chance do you guys think of us seeing like the world's greatest tag team being reunited, along with like uh, tag teams like Brothers of Destruction, and uh, possibly that's how they're going to build up the tag team division. Hey, you know, hey, hey. It's funny because Howard Howard Finkel said it himself actually during the draft, the supplemental draft, that the tag team division is just pretty much dead. I mean, if we see any of those type of tag teams teaming up, we may just see the world's greatest tag team come on. Um, consider the fact now that Haas is on, on is on SmackDown, but the, the reality is the unified title is non Raw, so it, it's kind of hard to compare and decide. If they're gonna even bring back the the uh, the, the um, team, USA, I, would, I, would love, like to I would love to see that. I mean, if you took Charlie Haas, because I mean, where are you gonna put Charlie Haas? I mean, he's just gonna get lost in the mix over on SmackDown and Shelton too. You know, I think if you put those guys together, and they've to- I mean, they've killed the tag division. I mean, they took they took away a lot of tag teams. So I don't I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, I, I'd like to see that because I think Haas. Like I said, gets lost over on SmackDown, and Shelton is just kind of thrown in there right now. You know what I mean? No, yeah, completely. And, and it's you know, it's pretty sad what they're doing with the tag team division, but that's another story for another time. Callie, you're live on WZR Radio. What's on your mind? Yeah, quick question. Where you um, been, man? It's been a couple of weeks. Yeah, no, I keep calling this. I never get through. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my bad, bud. My bad. We talk too much. <laughs> That's all good, man. <laughs> Listen, um, you know, you know now TNA, you know they have uh, you know, Lashley, Stevie Richards, Taz. I, I say they have Taz. And let's let's just say Jeff Hardy goes there. Say when he doesn't want to sign because he wants to go there because that's where he thinks that's the place to be. If Vince McMahon, if you're Vince, if you see, it's like you're Vince. If you see all this happening, would you say, uh oh, you know, them fools ain't playing around? Would you pay them no attention? If like, you know, they're still not nowhere near me and do what you're doing. 
with Raw, trust, SmackDown, and ECW. Hey, hey, trust me when I tell you that Vince sees the ECW rating and Vince sees the TNA Impact rating, and he knows. He knows. You know, don't think for one second that Vince doesn't know Bobby Lashley wound up on TNA at lockdown this past Sunday night. You know what I mean? As far as Jeff Hardy is concerned going over there, TNA people say that they haven't talked to him, they haven't heard anything about it. And then Jeff Hardy said, you know, basically it's just a rumor right now. I mean, there's still a chance that he could, you know, so I mean, there's still four months left on the contract. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I mean, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. We'll just have to we'll have to wait and see. But Vince Vince knows. I mean, Vince knows that Impact's beating ECW on a, on a weekly basis. I mean, he's he knows this stuff. You know what I mean? He's not he's not completely out of the loop. So he knows he knows that they're trying with with Taz and 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 everybody else. But that's just he knows that's part of the business. You know that's what true. I mean? I mean, that's true. I mean, competition is whether he wants to admit it or not. Competition is good. It's, it's it, very it drives good. his creativity to a whole new different level. So, uh, do you, uh, so do you think he'll, he'll end up buy? You know, they got this panda energy right here. Would he end up buying him out like he did ECW and WCW and just buy him and pay and throw him away? Do you think, or would he actually let them, if they have this, let them actually be lightweight comps? He can bring back maybe Attitude Era or do something new with his young talent, like the you know, the TJ Wilsons, the Teddy, well, Teddy Biasi, or what? Here's the thing. Dixie has, has gone on record as saying she'd never sell TNA to WWE. The fact is, if, if times got really bad, I mean, who would have ever thought that WCW would have been bought out by Vince McMahon? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So, of course, of course, it's always a possibility. I mean, if that was their last resort, I think they would go to a lot of other investors first to see if they could keep TNA as a, as a separate, completely different from WWE, and they would have a lot of offers, definitely a lot of offers. And I don't even think list, it, it, it would even come to, to, to that point. Yeah. I think in, the, in this industry, there's a lot of room for newer things to come up, and, and the reality is when Panda decided to invest into TNA, they, they took a very slow, slow approach and that's exactly what they're doing. And then they get investors like a Spike TV that invests into the company and in return works on the TV slot for them. So it, it, they're just starting. I mean, they've been around for five or six years, but the reality is they're still, you know, they're in, they're in the ground two, ground three, and the elevator is going up, and it's going up a little bit more faster pace now, especially if the storylines in the WWE are kind of stale. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. TNA is making money. It's not that much money, but they are breaking the breaking even a little bit above breaking even. So they are making money. They're not a they're a profitable company right now, which they weren't when they were uh, even when they first started out on Spike TV. They weren't profitable, and right now they are profitable, which is which is good news as far as a sale. To, to Vince or WWE or, or anybody else like that is concerned. All right, thanks. Yeah. Sure, man. I appreciate the call. Missed him, man. I missed him. Callie calls every week, man, but we uh we haven't been able to get to uh his phone call. Let's uh we want to get you keep taking phone calls. We got calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We keep on going. We're on a roll. We're on a roll, baby. Let's uh let's take another one. Caller, you are live. Actually, do we still have Callie on here? Is Callie still here? Yeah, I'm listening. Oh, he's listening. <laughs> I mean, Tiny yeah. Fool, listening to you guys talk. Oh, all right, all right, no doubt. I'll, uh, I guess I'll hold off on the uh, on the phone call. Just listen to us talk. You got anything else, Callie? What do you got for me? Um, that's about it. Cause you know, I, I missed it that when they had like the uh, competitiveness or with WCW, and now we had how you brought in like the uh, the Goldbergs or no, now we you know the Goldbergs and the whole Night of Rock, and you know. Hey. You know, you know what I want to ask you, man, is um, boxing. You've been following the boxing news, yeah. They want yeah. to do uh, Man or Juan Manuel Marquez versus Floyd Mayweather later this year. Yeah, I think gonna yeah. be. I think it's gonna be. You know, I thought that they wanted to do the the winner of the Hatton uh, Pacquiao fight. Yeah. You know, and that's that's coming up. That's this weekend. I believe that's this, this Saturday night, I think. No, I, think I, believe. I think it's on the second. It's on the second. Oh, maybe it's two weeks. Is it two weeks? No, yeah. it's good because they're doing, the, they're doing the preview. Uh, have you seen the hype things on, uh, on HBO? They've been doing the uh, – they yeah. do like a three-part special, and I think they're on the second part of that special right now. So. Yeah, I've been, I've been watching it, and, you know, it seems like I want Haddon to win, but Pacquiao, he was like looking at Haddon, and he did the same thing with De La Hoya. He was kicking back looking at him box. Uh, dear, 
Pacquiao will absolutely destroy Hatton. I mean, I, I love Hatton to death. I love how he brings the band, da 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 